Hello loves, so firstly I would like to thank you for all of 300 reads um, that is on Wattpad uh, and without further ado let's start the story. Right, right, right. This is the longest that she attacks us now. This one is chapter 8, ch challenge accepted. Um, uh, this, yeah, this is Butterfly Blue. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the video, yeah? In Nagisa's arms, I again felt that sensation of safety, and I did not want her to give in. I really didn't. It was just too much for me to handle with everything I've gone through. You think I was stronger than this? I clutched Nagisa's uniform and fell to the floor, slowly. He fell to the floor with me and held me in his arms for a few minutes. I didn't try to stop the tears as they trailed down my cheeks. Instead, I gave in for about two minutes. Then, almost immediately, I pulled away from him and stifled my crying. Nagisa looked at me with a confused and worried expression. I guess he still cares. We need to get to class. I attempt to stand up, even with my knees buckling at the slightest movement of them. You should go home, take the day off. He placed a hand on my shoulder and tilted his head to the side. I smiled and gave him a wary smile. I'll be fine, but it's nice to know that you care again. I started to remove his hand off my shoulder, even though it's not what I really wanted. Walking away, I made sure to pick up the water cup that sometime I again was placed by the drawer side table. And just when I was about to leave the nest, Nagisa called to me, like he did that day, that dreadful day. Why in? I turned my body slightly. My stomach did not feel any better than it did when I got up this morning, but I've learned to deal with things like this. After all, if I can't handle a single stomach ache, how in the world was I going to kill the octopus? Or better, leave Gakuham and Mum. Nagisa stopped right in front of me and caught his breath to the small sprint he just ran for some reason. He looked to me with a face I could not read. It was somewhere between regret, guilt, and sorrow. That much I could figure, but still. I never stopped caring, he said. Of course, I smiled warmly. Part of it was forced, but the other part wasn't entirely. Hey, progress, right? I still think you should go home. Loggy saw glanced over at me with worried eyes. I thought I told you already. I grinned wildly and skipped in front of him, then turned around and continued to walk backwards. I'm fine. He let out a sigh and closes his eyes as if accepting the fact that it's useless to persist against me. To be fair though, it is. Hey, baby back red. Do you mind if I call you that? I asked Nagisa, not really caring if he said no. But of course I do. But it goes with your attitude and stature. I pout and point at him. Okay, and you suck at athletic stuff, but do you hear me calling you a couch potato? I smiled widely. No, but I would appreciate if you did. He sighs again and slides the door to our class open. We walk in and I see most of the girls joining us. Kayano, Karahashi, Nakamura, and Taka. I don't know why they're staring, but it's pretty annoying. I want to give them a glare, but I'm scared to. I mean, they are really the only mates I've ever had. Besides Nagisa and Kama, I had nobody else. Especially mates that were... Females. I sit down in my seat behind Nagisa and wait for class to begin. Staring at the window became a forte as well as my getaway. Watching the clock would only cause me trouble, and for someone to tell me otherwise has obviously never met someone on my level. I honestly think that the only other person I've ever met that was on my IQ level was either Gakushu or Karma. Um, she was my brother, so that does not count. Karma is the next and last person in line. Nagisa, on the other hand, never really matched good with me, and I'm not being obnoxious. 
Ryan. Hmm. I look forward. Please answer this question. Kara Sensei points to the board. I sigh and stand up, dusting off my uniform. I feel Nagisa's eyes on me, the back of me. But to be fair, I felt everyone else's eyes on me too. I take the chalk from Kara Sensei and look up at the problem that I am tasked with. After going over the problem a couple of times in my head, I gasp as I come to one final conclusion. I know absolutely nothing of this problem. I begin to sweat nervously, the marker in my hand fidgeting. A problem, Ryan? That yellow slime calls. I hear the twinge of knowingness in his voice and grip, and grip the chalk tightly, forcing an angry smile on my face as an egg mark appears atop my forehead. I heard a few giggles, but one in particular caught my attention. Just what are you laughing at, you blueberry muffin? I glare at Nagisa as he pulls his hand over his mouth to contain his laughter. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I've never seen... <laughs> You're so lost. He says in between spots of giggles. The egg mark grows bigger as I storm over to him and hand him the piece of chalk in my palm. Then you do it if you're so brilliant. I impatiently waited as Nagisa made his way up to the board, and I followed. With a simple swift motion of his wrist, Nagisa managed to complete the problem in a minute or less. My eyes widened and my mouth agape. Guess I've passed your IQ level. Nagisa quotes with his hands. This can't be. I shout, enraged at how some sickly E-class student knows more than me. Maybe you should pay more attention for the coming up exam. Kara Sensei's smile fired me up even more. Then a sick smirk came onto my face. School just started. We don't stop studying for exams until a few more months. I pounded my foot on the floor like a rabbit. <laughs> for the school exams, not for mine, he says. That's blasphemy, I argue, pointing with my index finger. And if you fail... He started as I continued to shout over him about how unreasonable and mostly unrealistic it is that we have to study for exams in the first week of school because I already have to deal with that at my flat. I get to choose someone to drop a bucket of ice water on top of your head wearing nothing but a t-shirt. My face retorted back. So, if Nagisa fails, I watch or hopefully be the one pouring cold ice water on top of his head. Okay, fine, I said and sat back down. Be careful what you agree to, Ian, because people can always call you back on it. I roll my eyes as I've heard the saying a thousand times before from father. So I wrote a little bit at the bottom, and um, it goes, I'm sorry it's not, uh, I'm sorry if, uh, is a little uh, at OCC, like out of character. Please let me know if he is and I'll try to make it better in the next chapter. So this one is for Nogisars. If I made him a little out of character, I'm sorry. Please tell me um, in the comments below and I will do my best to make him in character in the next chapter. Okay, but that is all for now loves. Bye!